Today we are continuing the tour of the first zoo and rescue center for exotic animals in Denmark and today I believe we're gonna see horses and highlander kettles and then hear a bit of a teaser on the next exotic animals we're seeing on the tour. And uh, apparently duty calls. So before we can continue the tour, give me a second. <laughs> Alright, let's continue. Down here behind me, we have our horses and our Highlander kettle, which has always been living here at the rescue. So I believe all the horses came from private people just seeking for new homes. And the Highlander kettle actually lived here at the rescue zoo um, when we took it over. It started out as a normal zoo and we converted it into a, a rescue zoo. And, like we didn't start the zoo, but we my parents bought it 20 years ago and converted it into a rescue zoo. And my point is that even though there might be some in quote unquote normal zoo animals, we don't just get rid of them just because we start thinking different. So there is some animals that is more of the traditional kinds of animals. And as said before, we both have rescue animals, uh, private people obtaining them, medical industry, fur farms, um, surplus animals, breeding programs, and some quote unquote more normal zoo animals living here. Hey, go! Hey. 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 He stuck his head inside the fence. God damn. You really make this hard. But let's continue the tour and let's go uh, down towards um, porcupines, goats, meerkats, uh, raccoons, and then I believe it's soon gonna be the first group of rescue animals coming to the rescue zoo. So uh, yeah, let's continue. It is a bit winter time <laughs> in the uh, view of the rescue zoo. It looks much, um, well, it looks, looks better in the summertime. So please bear with me. We also close for the public. We open up again here in April. Um, so there's a lot of work that goes into reopening the rescue zoo for the public. Uh, having them come and visit so we can educate them about animals, wildlife and rescue. But um, yeah, I just I wish it was easier for me to record all year round and show you guys what we do. But you know, it is a summer nature park, so it gets muddy, it gets snowy and wet. And it's just, it's easier to, to show in the summertime. Next up on the rescue zoo tour, we're gonna see the raccoons and the guinea pigs and we're gonna have a conversation about how um, we, uh, we got a, um, a lot of guinea pigs in under the COVID era and uh, a lot of parents went out and bought their kids guinea pigs and, uh, and yeah, we're gonna have a whole conversation about this here in the rescue zoo tour coming up next.